Welcome everyone. My name is Rajati Rai, second year BTEC student in Civil Engineering, Alia University. Today I will discuss on the topic of cement in building materials under the guidance of Mr. Mohsin Jamal sir. Introduction of cement. What is cement? Cement in general adhesive substances of all kinds, but in a narrower sense, the binding materials used in building and civil engineering construction. Cement of these kinds are finely ground powders that when mixed with water set to a hard mass. The most important of these is Portland cement. What is cement made of? But cement is not some sort of naturally occurring organic material. It's manufactured through the chemical combination of eight main ingredients during the cement production process. These ingredients are generally extracted from limestone, clay, marl, shell, chalk, sand, bauxite, and iron ore. Use of cement. Cement is mainly used as a binder in concrete, which is a basic material for all types of construction, including housing, roads, schools, hospitals, dams, and ports, as well as for decorative applications for paytos, floors, staircases, driveways, pool stakes, and items like tables, sculptures, or bookcases. Main ingredients of cement. There are some ingredients is used for making this type of cement. Lime, CaO, 62%, silica, SiO2, 22%, alumina, Al2, O3, 5%, calcium sulfate, 4%, iron oxide, 3%, Magnesia 2%, Sulphur 1%, Alkalis 1%. Different types of cement. There are some types of cements are available in market. Ordinary Portland cement or OPC, white cement, water repellent cement, sulphate resistant, low heat cement, high alumina cement, hydraulic cement, rapid hardening cement, expensive cement, air and training cement. Ordinary Portland Cement or OPC Ordinary Portland Cement also known simply as Portland Cement or Type 1 Cement is widely used in construction work. It is made of agnelaceous or silicates of alumina, clay and shell and calcareous or calcium carbonate like limestone, chalk and marl. It is used for general construction purposes and most machinery work. White Cement White cement is prepared from raw materials free from iron oxide and is similar to Bordeland cement except for its white color. It is more expensive and is used for agri architectural purposes such as precast cord curtain walls and interior and exterior decorative work such as facing slabs, floorings, ornamental concrete products and garden paths. Water repellent cement. Water repellent or waterproof cement consists of ordinary or rapid hardening cement combined with a small percentage of metal stearates such as calcium or aluminium while it's ground. It is used for the construction of structures that either retain wall or will be in constant contact with water in some other way such as tanks, reservoirs, retaining walls, swimming pools, dams, bridges, and pyres. There is some picture of a different type of cements are shown. Ordinary Portland cement or OPC, white cement, and water repellent cement. Sulfate resistant cement. This type of sulfate resistant cement has a very low heat of hydration, which means it does not generate much heat when reacting to water and gain the strength at a slower rate. It is used in application where the soil has high levels of sulphate or alkali containing compounds in the underground water or sewage system, pyres and platform on the coast. It reduces the risk of sulphate attack on concrete and is used in the construction of foundation where the soil has high sulphate or alkali content as it also is often alkali resistant. This includes places where the cement may come into contact with groundwater 
sewage systems or ocean water. It is also used for canal lining, culverts, retaining walls, and sea ponds. Low heat cement. Low heat cement features as a low heat of hydration and it is needs less water to mix and set. This cement type is made from the same ingredients as Portland cement with some charges in the proportion of ingredients. It has lower amount of tricalcium illuminate around 5% and higher amount of dicalcium silicate around 46%. Because it has high chemical corrosion resistance, it is often used for floors and surfaces in chemical plants. Due to its high strength and wear and rupture resistance, the cement is also used in dams, wind turbine feet, and large footing and wrapped slab of concrete. High alumina cement. High alumina cement is commonly used in marine and sewer construction as well as in refractory application. Created differently from other cements, this material is formed from backing ground up bauxite and lime in a clean, then grinding the clinker again. High alumina cement has a low pH, making it highly chemical resistant, including to sulfuric acid. Hydraulic cement. Hydraulic cements such as the IL, ISIP, and IT types mentioned above. Archit types. Archetypes of hydrophobic cement, they are impervious to water and set quickly, leading to their use in underwater and under and water proofing structural applications. Rapid hardening cement. Rapid hardening cement is compatible to Portland cement. It contains more tricalcium silicate than Portland cement and is finer ground. The main benefit of using rapid hardening cement is that the form work can be removed earlier and used in the other areas. Lowering form walls for overall cost, it is often used in prefabricated concrete construction and road work. Expensive cement. Expensive cement does not shrink during and after the time of hardening but expands slightly with time. It generally consists of Portland cement clinker with added calcium sulfate and sometimes calcium aluminate. This type of cement is used to help overcome sinkage loss and is often an essential part of ceiling joints when used as expansion joint cement. Other applications for this type of cement include grounding anchor bolts and pre-stressed concrete ducts. Air entraining cement. Air entraining cement creates concrete with billions of tiny air bubbles per cubic foot. When the water is in concrete freezes due to low temperature, it expands with air entraining cement. The air voids in concrete provide space for water to expand without cracking the concrete. The air bubble takes up between 4 and 7 percent of the volume of the cement, but this varies as required by special conditions. This type of cement is not a high strength cement. It is used in areas where the temperature is very low and where de-icing chemicals are applied. Grade of cement. The grade is the metric to measure the strength of the cement. There are different grades of cement. The strength of cement increases as the grade of the cement increases. Fineness of cement increases with the increase of grade. Grade of cement is chosen as per the one requirement and type of work. Dependent grades of cement. There are mainly three types of grades are available in the market. They are based on the ordinary Portland cement. Grade 33, grade 43 and grade 53. Grade of cement 33. As per Indian Standard IS 269, 2015, 33 grade of cement means the compressive strength of cement after 28 days in 33 Newton per millimeter square. This grade of cement is outdated and no one is using in recent times. 33 grade of cement is not suitable for making more than M20 grade of concrete. The compressive strength of 33 grade cement is 33 newton per millimeter square. Where to use 33 grade of cement? The type of this cement generally used for building compound walls, parapet walls, and etc. 
43 grade of cement 43 grade of cement means the compressive strength of cement when tested under the CTM is 43 Newton per millimeter square as per Indian standard IS 8112-2013. Concrete upgrade up to M30 mate grade can be made using 43 grade of cement. The compressive strength of this type of cement is 43 Newton per millimeter square. Uses of this 43 grade of cement. This type of cement is used in making plant cement concrete or PCC and plastering the walls, brick or mortar, precast items like tile cement pipes. PP3 grade of cement. This is the high grade of cement where anyone can easily but from the market the strength of cement having the compressive strength 53 Newton per millimeter square is called 53 grade of cement. The setting time of cement is quickly when quicker than the compared with the 33 and 43 grade of cement. Any grade more than 50 M25 is easily achieved by the using 53 grade of cement. Compressive strength of 53 grade cement is 53 Newton per millimeter square. Where to use this type of cement? This type of cement is generally used in precast walls, concrete roads bridges, dams, RCC of structural works. Compressive strength test. This test gives us an idea about all the characteristics of concrete. With the help of this test, we can check the whether creating concreting has been done properly or not. And compressive strength is the ability of material or structure to carry the loads on its sur surface without any crack or deflection. A material under compression tends to reduce the size while in tension size elongates. Compressive strength of concrete depends on many factors such as water cement ratio, cement strength, quality of concrete material, quality control during production of concrete etc. The test of this type of strength is mentioned below. In day 1 it has 16% strength in days 3 40% 7 days 65% 14 days 90% and 28 days it achieves is 99% strength compressive strength of cement compressive strength is the capacity of material or structure to resist or withstand under compression the compressive strength of a material is determined by the ability of the material to resist failure in the form of cracks and fissures in this stage, the impact of force applied on both faces of mortar specimen made with cement and the maximum compressive that cement specimen bears without failure record. In technical terms, compressive strength of cement means the ability of cement specimen to resist the compressive stress where tested under compressive testing machine or CTM at 28 days. Here, the apparatus used in for this compressive strength test. The procedure is used for this test. The formula for calculating compressive strength of this cement is the maximum load carried by the mortar specimen cube, which means the load points on compressive testing machine at which the specimen starts breaking in divided with the surface area or contact area. Compressive strength of cement max load carried by specimen by top surface area of specimen. Here are some example of testing a specimen. Properties of cement Physical properties and chemical properties Physical properties that mean fineness of cement, soundness, consistency, strength, setting time, heat of hydration, loss of ignition, bulk density, specific gravity. Chemical properties that mean tricalcium aluminate, tricalcium silicate, dicalcium silicate, ferrite, magnesia, sulfur, toxide, trioxide, iron oxide, alkalis, free lime, alumina, etc. Physical properties of cement. Different blend of cement uses 
in construction are characterized by their physical properties some key parameters control the quality of cement the physical properties of good cement are based on the fineness of cement soundness consistency strength setting time heat of hydration laws of ignition bulk density specific gravity relative density these physical properties are discussed in detail in the following segment fineness of cement the size of this particle of the cement is its fineness the required fineness of good cement is achieved through grinding the clinker in the last step of cement production process as hydration rate of cement is directly related to the cement particle size fineness of cement is very important soundness of cement soundness refers to the ability of cement to not sink upon hardening good quality cement retains its volume after setting without delayed expansion which is caused by excessive free lime and magnesia test there are some tests are available to determine the soundness lee chatelier lee chatelier's test autoclave test consistency of cement the ability of cement paste to flow its consistency the ability of cement paste to flow is consistency it is measured by bicat test strength of cement three types of strength of cements are measured compressive tensile and fractural here the compressive strength it is the most common strength test a test specimen 50 mn is taken and subjected to a compressive load until failure the loading sequence must be within 20 second and 80 second tensile strength though this test used to be common during the early years of cement production now it does not offer any useful information about the properties of cement flexural strength this is actually a measure of tensile strength in bending the test is performed in a 40 into 40 into 160 mm cement mortar beam which is loaded at its center point until failure standard test is done for this flexural strength test heat of hydration when water is added to cement the reaction that takes place is called hydration hydration generates heats which can affect the quality of the cement and also be beneficial in maintaining curing temperature during cold weather on the other hand when the heat generation is high especially in arc structure it may cause undesired stress the heat of hydration is affected most by c3s and c3a present in cement and also by water cement ratio fineness and curing temperature the heat of hydration of portland cement is calculated by determining the difference between the dry and the partially hydrated cement obtained by comparing these at 7th and 28th days standard test is done for this type of hydration test loss of ignition and this heating a cement sample at 900 to 1000 degree celsius until constant weight is obtained causes weight loss this loss of weight upon heating is calculated as loss of ignition chemical properties of cement the raw material for cement production are limestone calcium sand or clay bauxite calcium aluminum and iron ore and may include shells chalk marl shell clay bust blast furnace slag slate chemical analysis of cement raw materials provides insight into the chemical properties of cement tricalcium aluminate c3a low content of C3A makes the cement sulfate resistant. Gypsum reduces the hydration of C3A which liberates a lot of heat in the early stages of hydration. C3A does not provide any more than a little amount of strength. 
Type 1 cement contains up to 3.5% ASO3 in cement having more than 8% C3A. Type 2 cement contains up to 3% ASO3 in cement having less than 8% C3A. Tricalcium silicate C3S. C3S causes rapid hydration as well as hardening and is responsible for the cement's early strength gain and initial setting. Dicalcium silicate C2S. As opposed to tricalcium silicate which helps early strength gain, dicalcium silicate in cement helps the strength gain after one week. Ferrite C4FF Ferrite is a fluxing agent. It reduces the melting temperature of the raw material in the clean from 3000 degree Fahrenheit to 2600 degree Fahrenheit. Though it hydrates rapidly, it does not contribute much to the strength of the cement. Magnesia MGO The manufacturing process of Portland cement uses magnesia as a raw material in dry process plants. An excess amount of magnesia may make the cement unsound and expensive, but a little amount of it can add strength to the cement. Production of MGO based cement also causes less CO2 emission. All cement is limited to a content of 6% MGO. Sulfur trioxide. Sulfur trioxide in excess amount can make cement unsound. Iron oxide or ferric oxide. Adding a strength, it adding a strength and hardness. Iron oxide or ferric oxide is mainly responsible for the color of the cement. Alkalis. The amount of potassium oxide or K2O and sodium oxide Na2O determine the alkali content of the cement. Cement containing large amount of alkali can cause some difficulty in regulating the setting time of cement. Low alkali cement when used in calcium chloride in concrete can cause discoloration. Free lime, free lime which is sometimes present in cement may cause expansion. Silica fumes. Silica fumes is added to cement concrete in order to improve a variety of properties, especially compressive strength, abrasion resistance, and bond strength. Though setting time is prolonged by the adding of silica fume, it can grant especially high strength. Hence, Portland cement containing 5 to 20 percent silica fume is usually produced for Portland cement projects that require high strength. Alumina. Cement containing high alumina has the ability to withstand frigid temperature. Since alumina is chemical resistant, it also quickens the setting but weakens the cement. There are some references is shown below. Thank you everyone for viewing this topic.